Hi everyone, today is August 30, 2022. It is 5 p.m. and 23 degrees Celsius. We are starting our walk today at Dundas Street and Bay Street, where there is the new location of Uncle Tetsu. The old location of Uncle Tetsu's was right here pretty nearby and Uncle Tetsu's basically makes a Japanese cheesecake and apparently it's very delicious when they first opened up there was huge lineups and we're now walking north on Bay Street Today is a Tuesday and I hope everyone's had a great weekend and I hope everyone's having a good start to their week. I've been doing a lot of work and making a lot of videos, doing a lot of editing. I finally had a chance to catch up on some of the previous videos that I had made but I hadn't had the chance to edit them and prepare them for uploading. We're now here at Bay Street and Elm Street. Looks like there's something going on there. Maybe there's a movie that they're working on. Looking east towards, or east on Elm Street. Hard to tell, there's some sort of pop-up tent there. Not sure if that's camera equipment or whatnot. There's the 506 Carlton streetcar that takes you all the way to Main Station. And of course, these are the relatively new streetcars that we now have in Toronto, which are very cool. They're very spacious and they have air conditioning and it's very nice and comfortable in there. I think one of my challenges with these new streetcars is that the step is super high. So if you're trying to get off the streetcar and you kind of like trying to step off it, uh, it's a bit of a drop. So you have to be prepared for it. Today was very cloudy in the morning and it was a bit on the dark side and, and, and what I mean by that is that there wasn't that much sun and so I tend to be very sensitive to the amount of sunlight in the sky and we're not passing Girard Street it looks like it's a lot of traffic towards Young Street looking east and there's a look to the west but um yeah i uh, I'm, i tend to be very sensitive to the amount of sunlight and so when the sunlight is low my energy levels pretty much plummet and uh i guess same with my mood We've had a pretty good summer this summer in Toronto. It was very sunny. I got a 
a lot of good days and uh, I prefer the weather to be sunny so that I can work I, I that wants to I'm not the kind of person who kind of like prefers not to work I'm kind of like the opposite I'm I could actually potentially be a workaholic but um I'm only able to do so when the when I have the energy when there's the sun in this in the sky when there's no sun I'm pretty much unable to do anything I know I mean it'd be cool to see but I mean if we're there we're like and so that's that gets factored in that's some, one of the points that I have to factor in into my content strategy I need to try my best to make as many videos as I can while the sun is shining during the summertime and then prepare myself for the winter time when there's very very little sun which is a very challenging time for me winter times are very brutal for me in terms of my health and so uh, that's why I'm working on multiple YouTube channels so I can be able to support myself when the weather is not as supportive so, uh, so one of my other channels is uh, is a gaming channel and eventually I need to figure out how to get that setup going in a more complete way I haven't had a chance to concentrate on that, uh, the gaming channel much because I've been mostly trying to spend as much time as I can making these outdoor videos more. I feel certain that eventually, I feel relatively certain that eventually I'll find the right mix of YouTube channels and content where, and I mean, one of, and part of that is like, I may actually consider moving to another city that is potentially more sunny. That will allow me to work more. So that's always an option. Here's Bay Street and Grenville Street. Excuse me. There's look east on Grenville Street. And here's a look towards the west. And of course there's Nando's Peri Peri Chicken at the corner. Looks like my battery pack is not really working at the moment. Let me see if I can reset this battery pack.
my battery indicator is is on and it's green colored it should be gray colored but I'm guessing the usually when I plug it into my power pack it'll have like a lightning icon on it but there's no lightning icon on it at the moment let me try unplugging it and replugging it back in Yeah, doesn't seem to like it's working. Sorry about that. I think it could potentially be working, but it's not showing that it's working. So I'll just continue. And I'll just assume that it is working. So yeah, I have been considering moving somewhere where it's more sunny for health reasons and work reasons because I obviously want to, I want to work, I want to capture the best sites and places that I can for you guys. We're now here at Wellesley Street and Bay Street. Here's a look west on Bay Street. I should say west on Wellesley Street and here's a look east on Wellesley Street. One of the places that I really want to get is the Royal Ontario Museum for you guys. And so I'm very excited about that one. Though I, I kind of tell myself that I need to get it hopefully soon before the season changes. We're already at the end of August. We're now passing St. Joseph Street. This area is called the Bay Clover Hill area. And Clover Hill Park is just right over there in the near distance.
I'd be very sad to leave Toronto. This has been my home for pretty much almost all my life now. I'm living in Toronto for over over 35 years now. And so having to go somewhere and start fresh is a pretty big challenge. Is that DJI action cam? No. What, what is that hero or? Just a GoPro hero, yeah. Really? Okay. Is it the 10? Like how, how, it's, it's like a five foot tall. Oh wow, cool. The feeder just it gets, gets crushed. Cool man. I'm using a DJI pocket too here. Nice. So I gotta plug into one day I'll get that. Bank. Well, I'm thinking of getting a hero and just hook it and latching it onto my backpack and so it comes in handy more often than it should. Yeah, I agree. Take care, man. Thanks, you too. Yeah, and notice uh, the camera on that guy's helmet, and uh, it was in the shape of a cube, and it was pretty portable. So that was pretty cool. And he said it was the Hero 5, I believe. And I'm surprised, because I'm, I'm used to the hero being a rectangular in shape, but this one was a cube. She's 13. And so I have been also thinking about getting an e-bike and that'll help me get to places that I normally would not be able to get to via walking. And uh, that would be very nice to get one of these so I didn't know that th that it was possible to get a camera that that small. I thought I may have to get a GoPro Hero 10 that looks like a rectangle. And it's a little bit on the bulky side. DJI does make uh, the, these cube-shaped cameras. I think they're called the DJI Action Cam, which is the reason why I asked him if his camera was that one that I thought it was. I'm gonna go inside the Manulife Center here and get a bottle of water while I'm here. Here's Bay Boar Radio.
here. It looks like they do have this is the four liter size. And there it is. It's going for about one dollar and twenty nine cents. Self checkout at the end here. And you just scan the bottle of water. Click free. Obviously, I can't use my optimum card because by the time I press the button, the notification disappears. I got my four liter bottle of water. There's Specio or Scascio, I should say. This is Scascio. It's an Italian restaurant. Looks like they got delicious food. Though I have not ate there before. I'm gonna put this water in my backpack. That way I don't have to focus on carrying water around. And I'll just turn this camera off and I'll be right back. All right. I just put my water in my backpack and we are now ready to continue our walk. And I'm gonna be exiting the Manulife Center on the west side towards Bay Street. Here's a look at the front entrance of the Indigo store. Here's the brick store. And the brick sell, store sells different kinds of high-end watches and rings and jewelry and all that kind of stuff. And we're now here at Bay Street and Bloor Street.
Bay Street and Cumberland Street. The Yorkville mural event or the Yorkville mural festival has come to an end and so they've reopened Yorkville Avenue for the street that goes through the north side of Yorkville Here's the Robo Cafe. This is Canada's first robotic cafe. This could, may very well be the future of coffee shops and cafes. In the future, it'll probably just be a robot that will take one's order and. It's whatever, but I'm leaving now, and I have to. And make your order. Just the way you ordered it, in record time. Now walking west on Yorkville Avenue. The sun is out very strong at the moment, which is very nice. It's a pretty quiet day in Yorkville today. Take a walk down Old York Lane here. And there's nice shade in this pathway. Here's 
the Dimi Trattoria restaurant. Now here on Cumberland Street. Smells like very strong cheap cologne. <laughs> For some reason. And I think I'll end this one in front of Sassafras which is the restaurant right at the corner of Bel Air Street and Cumberland Street. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please hit the like button. For more videos like this, please hit the bell notification icon. Or I should say, for more videos like this, please hit the subscribe button and the bell notification icon. Sorry about that, it's been a very long day. And I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.